This is the video for diagnosis of thoracic spinal segments, both type 1 and type 2. First, we want to start out with our general landmarks. So the top of the scapula is in line of, with the spinous process of T2. The spine of the scapula is aligned with the spinous process of T3. The inferior angle of the scapula is in line with the spinous process of T7. And finally, our iliac crest, which you can contact by going from the abdomen lat um, in laterally, that is in line with the spinous process of L4. So when diagnosing, we want to think about our rules of threes with spinal mechanics. Um, type from thoracic T1 to T3, the transverse process is at the same level as the spinous process. From T4 to T6, the transverse process is one half segment above the spinous process. From T7 to T9, the transverse processes are a full segment above the spinous process. T10 is again a full segment above the spinous process. T11 transverse processes are one half segment above the spinous process. And finally, T12 is back to at the same level. So T12 transverse processes are at the same level as the spinous process. So to diagnose a type 2 thoracic segment, we know that our mechanics are rotation and side bending to the same direction. But first, we will try and find using our screening techniques. And for demonstration purposes, we'll come at T2. Um, and first, we want to feel that rotational um, component. So we want to feel a speed bump of a transverse process sticking out at us. So I feel that his right transverse process is sticking out on the right and pushing into my thumb, which indicates that he would be rotated to the right. So I can also motion test this by sinking down to the transverse process and push try and rotate to the left by pushing anteriorly with my right thumb, try rotating to the right by pushing anteriorly with my left thumb. And it seems to be way easier to push with my left thumb, which indicates that he likes to rotate to the right. Again, I can test my side bending now and get on the outside, the lateral portions of the transverse process and translate. So if I'm translating to the left, that's side bending to the right. If I'm translating to the right, that's side bending to the left. And he really likes to translate to the left, which means he's side bent to the right. And now I add the flexion and extension component, which is um, in regards to our type 2 mechanics. So I have my patient bend his neck forward. And that seems to get much more symmetrical and even. But I have him come back to neutral, and I want him to look up to the ceiling. And that gets more asymmetrical. That dysfunction and rotation doesn't go away. So this is our short level lever testing. And now we can do long lever testing where I'm monitoring the transverse processes. And I actually take him into rotation. And if it's upper thoracics, I'm going to contact the head. So I take him rotation to the left. Doesn't like that. Rotating to the right. It seems to get more symmetrical. I side bend him to the right. That's more symmetrical. I side bend him to the left. That's more asymmetrical. And then I can flex him forward myself, back to neutral, and into extension. So that's for our type 2 mechanics. If I wanted to find a type 1 um, neutral curve, we know that usually involves multiple segments. And our rotation and side bending are in opposite directions. And there is no flexion or extension component. So if we go to spinous process of T7 and get on the transverse processes and say we have T7 to T9 is rotated right, side bent left. So I'd want to, again, motion test at the transverse processes, indeed indicate that that transverse process is rotated posteriorly and poking out on the right. And then again, I can motion test long lever and find that side bending component. When treating, we would obviously want to find the full curve. So you need to find a couple segments below and a couple segments above to find the exact curve. It doesn't always include only three vertebrae. And when treating, we usually want to treat the apex or the center of the curve. 